I would be very grateful if you could draw me a diagram of the optimum route. Well, I mean, um, may I ask what's wrong with the map? Well, it's got curry on it. <laughs> Bernard Cribbins was part of some of Britain's most iconic television programmes. Children knew his voice from the Wombles, but what they wouldn't have known was that much of his narration was improvised. Where is Orinoco? He'd sort of make up things like, well, I think I'll just go over here and uh, put this log on this, and, uh, oh, why not? That wouldn't be too silly an idea, would it? And he just makes it all up, and it's just so natural and funny um, that he can ad-lib in all these different characters' voices. He began his acting career at the age of 14 at the Oldham Rep and never looked back. He lost his wife, Jill, a year ago, but continued to work and was pictured on the Doctor Who set just weeks ago. Here he is as the Doctor's friend with David Tennant and Kylie. Not safe, is it? Why? Well, it's them up above. Russell T Davis, who worked with him on Doctor Who, said, I'm so lucky to have known him. A legend has left the world. While Matt Lucas said, thank you, Bernard Cribbins, for delighting us all. A lovely, funny, brilliantly talented man. Christopher Biggins also had the pleasure of working with him. I mean, he was always, in, in every classic series, comedy, drama, whatever, he was always there. He was a, a, a consummate professional and absolutely brilliant. He made music too, writing comedy songs. Well, how are you now? I tell you, I've had a shocking time with an any style. But one of his best known roles was that of Albert Perks in The Railway Children. Dear Mr. Perks, we love you quite as much as if you're an uncle of our own. Hey! But on a day like what? Well, like this here. I told you, I seen it in the papers, didn't I? I told you! So what? He was papers? almost like a constant uncle figure for people. He, if people knew Bernard was around, uh, in the world, everything was kind of OK. Of course, everything wasn't OK in the world, but just for the moment when he would maybe come on screen or you just knew he existed, um, that was sometimes enough to keep you cheerful. At the age of 90, he published an autobiography titled Bernard Who? 75 Years of Doing Absolutely Everything. And he gave this advice, do your best and be grateful for every single job. He did, he was, and he'll be greatly missed.